will I leave a better future for my children, my grandchildren? We've seen drastic effects on climate change. Job stability worries me. What's the point of getting a paper degree after four years and then going out to work and then learning the skills that I actually need? in the real world. I gotta wait for like five, six years to get a house. It would be great if the government could do a little bit more. That's what a lot of people say, oh, if the government does this or does this, we'll be more cohesive, it will fix our problems. I think the people have to play a big part as well. DPM Lawrence Wong and the 4G team have embarked on the Forward Singapore exercise. Over the past year, they have held dialogues with thousands of Singaporeans. The goal of Forward Singapore is to refresh our social compact. Singapore is at a turning point. Uh, the world is changing. We face many new challenges and uncertainties. Everyone has a role to play. We have to meet immediate needs, but we also have to think long term for the country. Where is our country headed? What can we do now to secure the future we hope for? And how can each of us contribute to this process? This question is a bit cheap uh, because it's, it's, not, it's not whatever I say then uh, it will change everything. Uh. Probably the COE can be cheaper. Uh. <laughs> we want COE to be cheaper but we keep complaining that uh, traffic jam is not appropriate. Uh. Everything is getting more and more expensive. We need to keep up to survive. It's never ending. Uh. That's why just now when we talk about the retirement, I don't dare to think about it. Because for my trade, if I stop working, means there's no income. Anything may happen. To take Singapore forward, we will need a new compact, a new playbook for what the Singapore story means. It's really a roadmap for our next bound of nation building. I don't think there is a simple template or a one-size-fits-all answer because it really depends on what are the issues of the day. As political leaders, we will have to judge the mood, sentiments, and make sure that we continue uh, to govern, not just for the here and now, but always with a long-term perspective in mind. I think now is a better time as any to just have an exercise that causes all of us to pause and take stock of where we've come from and where we are today and the direction in which we're heading. Most people, uh, including some of my closest friends and family members, they think Forward Singapore is another conversation. Actually, it is not. Uh, conversation is part of it. Forward Singapore is actually a series of policy changes that I think take into account the changing type of the world that we are living in. A world where geopolitically is a different situation. We are a very small country and um, we don't have any natural uh, resources. Um, for that matter, um, you know, uh, we don't have that much of natural advantages as well. I would say that firstly, we have to get our objectives right. We had to recognise society has changed. People are facing different kind of issues. We've been trying to engage every sector, every community that may be affected by any potential policy change. You can't just, you know, uh, charge ahead and then forget that, hey, there are others who are feeling that this is way too fast and this is way too much. It's our promise to each other. We want to be a, a nation that cares about each other. We've got things, challenges like inequality on the social side. How do you help the lower income, the, the poorer ones? Um, how do you bridge those gaps? Many more jobs are lost, people being displaced and so on. Sometimes, no matter how good you are, no matter how hard you work, curveballs come. We are not competing against each other in this country but we are competing with the rest of the world together as Team Singapore. 
the next stage of our journey which we are embarking on now, how we help our people so that for the rest of their life, they continue to be confident and competent. We're all the same, right? All of us bleed the same red blood and all of us have the same Singaporean identity, right? It doesn't matter what colour, where you come from and so on. It needs everybody, all hands on deck. Everybody can do something. No matter what your position, your station in life, everything that you do makes a difference. It may not sound the most exciting, but you want to have a grand vision, you must be able to deliver. I, I don't do this alone. I cannot carry this on my own. And all these ideas are not mine alone. Right? Firstly, it's a team effort. It has been, is and will always be. But it's really when we all first agree that we have to look at the larger picture. Then we can create change that will benefit all of us. Do we want a society whereby we just pay our taxes and then we wash our hands and say, I have therefore no more responsibility towards my fellow men? Can we do something to make it right? Or at least make it less imperfect? What are the roles that different stakeholders in society will need to play? Not just the government, but also businesses, community groups and individuals themselves. What are the responsibilities and duties and obligations we all owe to each other? Singapore's strength is our ability to progress forward in unity. Unity doesn't mean everybody has to have exactly the same view. But unity does mean that we recognise that we have common challenges and that if we are to do well, we must work together. And that as a nation, the only way we can do well is if we've got each other's back. Everyone is different. Everyone has different dreams and ambitions. We don't have to compare. We don't have to chase after someone else's dreams. What's the point? Life is short. It's very hard for me to go back to study. Um, if you don't get good grades, then you may not have anywhere to go. I'm trying my best, but uh, some things can go wrong. They only teach like those, uh, all those paper tests. School, they don't teach you this kind of hard skills. Uh. Studying is still not my thing. My hope is that we um, obsess less about what schools we go to, what grades we get, instilling in every person that sense of curiosity and that desire to keep on learning. And if every person has that desire to improve and keep on learning, they will be in a very good position I mean, for the future.